Let's craft up a bathroom storage tray. I was challenged by Ellen to create a storage tray that can accommodate a toilet with the flush controls in the middle. So here we go. You'll need Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks, wood glue, black acrylic paint, and optional but recommended four bumpers on the bottom of your piece to keep it from sliding. To start, you'll stack eight blocks on top of each other like this forming one column. In total, you'll need to make seven columns like this. Next, you'll glue together your seven columns to each other. Tumbling tower blocks can be a little uneven and a little wonky. I like to use wood glue to fill in the cracks or you can even use wood filler. Then I wipe it away before it dries. To make the sides, you'll make two rows with three blocks in each and then an additional two rows with seven blocks each. Now you'll take those four rows and glue them to the sides of the base just like this. If you have clamps, feel free to use them. Clamps help tighten the piece and give it a stronger bond. A shout out to my dad for sending me these clamps after looking at these YouTube videos. <laughs> To make the legs, you'll need two rows with two blocks in each and four single blocks. Now we'll take those four single blocks and glue them on top of the double rows. Once they dry, we'll grab our base and we're gonna add the legs to the back of our piece. I glue the legs to the second column and on the second row. Once the legs dries, you can paint the piece or leave it with the natural wood showing. Lastly, you can add on your four bumpers to the bottom of your piece. I love these little bumpers because they fit these blocks perfectly. These are great for helping your piece not to slide around. And there you have it, a functional bathroom tray that's cute and you still have space to slip your hands under to flush. After doing this tray, it gave me another tray idea for this area, so stay tuned. I hope you all love this and definitely give it a try. Team Gravy, making things easy.